So I, I think we did it okay, but honestly, I kind of want to rip all this out and rebuild an entire aquarium system, but it gets very, very, very expensive quick. Good morning, guys, and welcome to another episode of Bubba's Garage. Today, we're gonna change things up a little bit. Yesterday, Bobby had me sweat shopping on this new security system. Today, I'm gonna spend very little time on the security system. I have a lot of other stuff I need to do. I need to focus on the saltwater aquarium system. And well, honestly, I'm not sure, but I might need a mow. I, re I really don't have to, I do that all the time. That's just because I like staying on top of the yard. But today, definitely gotta spend some time on the saltwater aquarium system. I probably should give you guys an update on the saltwater aquarium system because it's been a really, really long time. Fishies are doing really well, yeah, yeah. actually, really well. We, we just ran into some problems. We ran into some problems. So we have this little issue where like the salt stuff is eating the paint off the wall. So I mean, I gotta build like this little thing right here to kind of like cover that up. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that today or not, but I did get some plexi so that I can build that. The other day, we actually had a power outage and when the power went out, everything was fine. The tanks didn't, you know, it was okay. It didn't stay off very long. But when it came back on, this little fella practically overflowed everywhere. Yeah. The water came up, started gushing out, went behind the tanks. I really don't like the hang on the pack protein skimmer, but it's just all I could do with these particular tanks. There's two 55 gallon tanks right here. So I got two of them, one down there too. So what I ended up doing was getting a battery backup system for the protein skimmers. That way, if the power goes out, then the protein skimmers will continue to run as well as the rest of the filtration and the pumps inside of the tank. So I, I think we did it okay, but honestly, I kind of want to rip all this out and rebuild an entire aquarium system, but it gets very, very, very expensive quick. So that's not going to happen today. But today, we're going to clean this stuff up. We're going to get it all nice and kosher. We're going to do a cycle change on this tank. Today, this tank, I think is still good. Still good. And in this tank, the only fish that we have is actually our Danzel. And that's because, well, we had him in the other tank and he killed like a lot of fish. So we took him out and now he's in here by himself. He's probably not happy, but I really don't care. In this tank, we call this like our rock tank. This is where we have most of our livestock. As you can tell, we kind of got some algae things going on. So we definitely probably should do a cycle change on this aquarium too today as well. Babe, tell us about our livestock. There's little fishies in there. Thank you. Yep, that's our oscillaris, right? No, that's our snowflake. That's a snowflake. That's a snowflake. Our little coral beauty is hiding. He's shy. And oh, there's our oscillaris right there. We still have a few snails, but our crabs seem to be missing. Am I? There's a little crab right there. Oh, yep, there he is. And there's some up there on the rock. Yeah. There's another. Oh, and, and, and guys, and guys, look, we have a little baby one. I don't know where he came from. So as you can tell, the system is actually really thriving very well, but it does need a little bit of attention. We need to get things under control just a tad. So we're gonna focus on that today, definitely, because, well, it's been a while, and upcoming in the next five to seven days, right here on Bubba's Garage, we have a huge project that we're gonna start right out back, so hopefully you guys stick around for that, but today, we need to get started on this. Waiting on the RO water to mix up and then we're going to move that water into the house and uh, do a quick cycle change on the aquarium systems. We're going to go ahead and do both of them. So it should be short, sweet. I'm not going to go into details about our setup. Definitely check our aquarium playlist. There's a lot of details about how we have this setup. And honestly, it's not perfect. I'd rather it be in the house or in the garage, but I'm just kind of running out of room. And if you already probably know, we're, we want to buy more property. Well, guys, producing this RO stuff is kind of a booger bear. But we pre-prep our top off waters into these one gallon jugs and we use those every like five to seven days, we'll top it off. And honestly, they take quite a few gallons, about two gallons at least per tank. It, like I said, it's, it's a booger bear, guys. But we got it all done and honestly, it's taken a full day to get this all set up and ready to go. But just quick rundown, just, just a quick rundown. I also have the CO2 absorbent balls that we actually use for the oxygen. And that's because when I built this house, I actually planned for like propane. And well, propane doesn't, it doesn't vent the house. So 
we cook a lot and it like takes the oxygen out of the house, I guess. And so to keep our pH levels up and high, we actually have those two canisters there. So we replace those once every single cycle change. They seem to be doing really, really well. So up here in the top, we have our protein skimmer. This is the Octopus protein skimmer. We also have two carbon filters. Honestly, I don't really know that we need them. A lot of people have said that we don't need them at all, but we constantly run them. And about once a month, we'll go ahead and replace all the filters in there. I don't really know why, but this system is actually working really well. So we do that. And then we duplicate that on this side. Now, we do have a full set of some really cool LEDs that we need to put on here, but the thing is they gotta build a whole new stand for the top before I put them on. And they're like really, really expensive, so I don't want anything to break. So, you know, maybe soon, coming up, you know, we'll get those installed. Bubba did it again. All right, guys, this video took a totally different direction than I expected, but then again, this is Bubba's garage. You just never know what's gonna happen. No. And well, Bobby said we had to do a cycle change and get all that stuff set up, so well, we just had to do it. We gotta take care of the fishies, baby. Well, they can't take care of themselves. I mean, you know what's funny? I know somebody that actually bays their fish, and I don't really know how to do that, and honestly, I don't wanna know how to do that. Bays but, your fish? Guys, I got a couple of questions. Let me know your thoughts on my aquarium setup today because, well, honestly, I've shared more about our setup today than I have on most videos. Yeah. So I'd really like your feedback. I mean, in the end, I want a really cool setup and I want it to be different. And I don't think I'm there yet. I think I gotta, I gotta take another step and go, I gotta go further. And yeah. Bobby won't let me spend the money. So the thing, I definitely want to get your feedback. So leave it down below. Guys, if you like this video, do me a favor, give us a huge, huge thumbs up. And if you really like this video and you want to stick around and find out what happens next right here on Bubba's Garage, please subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you on the flip side. Good night, everybody. Good night.